All right, so today we'll discuss how to come from non-tech background like mechanical engineering, electrical, civil engineering to data engineering, fate, mapping, panther sleeping there. So first things first, you need to learn some scripting language because you, you'll need to parse files, you need to read, write, and I don't know, so many other automation things. So Python is a great start because there's tons of material out there. You don't need to know everything, every module out there, but just learn enough so that you can use the syntax and write programs Python. Step two is you need to start learning about databases. You need to know the difference between SQL versus no SQL databases, how to normalize tables and all those ACID properties and stuff. And later on, you also need to know how to use SQL queries and try to store your data in databases so that is very important because whenever you are parsing files or manipulating data you need to store it in some form and databases is a very very crucial subject okay so now that you know about python and sql the next thing you can do is implement some project you can scrape data from some website you can read from some api try to pre-process it using pandas in python and try to store it in some database try to normalize it in different tables try to join the data read it so now you're a data engineer congratulations you can apply to google nope you still need to know about the networking concepts. So next thing you, that you need to work on is Linux, Unix, internals, basics of operating system, networking concepts like VPC, IP addressing and all that things. You don't need to know everything. Once again, I'm mentioning it because these are really important concepts and you just need to learn it so that once you start implementing projects, you know uh, what's the reference and then you can uh, build your concepts on top of that. So now is the perfect time to learn something about a cloud provider because uh, there will come a time in future when you need to host all of these services on a cloud platform. So I, I, I think AWS GCP, these are best to go. You can learn some basic services like compute storage and some dashboarding services. Uh, in so, so it will help you to build your portfolio as well and this is every company switching to cloud uh, then uh, they need people who, who are already familiar with cloud computing so I would highly advise to learn these basic services you can also learn these services through some sort of certification but if you don't have that much amount of time you can just start learning it and try implementing it in your projects so one of the most important concepts in data engineering are data lakes data warehouses streaming pipelines batch pipelines and all this stuff so I, I know that this is too much and these are full-fledged specializations and I've seen most people specializing on in all, starting from one specialization and moving their way up to multiple. So uh, you can start with batch pipelines, you can start building a data lake on AWS or GCP uh, that takes data from somewhere, pre-processes it and then stores it somewhere and you can build a dashboard on top of that data. So that will help you to understand the concepts behind data lakes and later on you can also build a data warehouse on top of it. Try to learn about data warehouses, their basic concepts. Uh, you can also learn about Redshift or BigQuery, uh, how their backend mechanisms work and uh, this will help you understand why data warehouses came, uh, came, uh, come into place and yeah this will be a great learning for you now one very very important tip build an end-to-end -end solution so one thing that i did was uh, it's all uh, i've also published a medium article on it i built uh, a streaming pipeline and a batch pipeline on aws uh, so i used a data lake i, I was reading so, so it was all for a project i was reading from some twitter api it's open source you can do it too uh, i was using kinesis data analytics to pre-process it i was storing in uh, it in s3 and then later on i was processing it again to display the charts and graphs on some dashboard so this was end-to-end -end solution and this is very good for your portfolio as well you can later on show this off to companies and you can tell them that you've built a streaming or batch pipeline so try to build that something like that because it will uh, uh, help you utilize all of your concepts like uh, the things that you've learned python sql networking linux unix internals all of this you can utilize all of this in this end-to-end -end solution so try to build some streaming or batch pipeline and you'll learn amazing things okay so now for bonus points these are not compulsory but this can help you build an amazing profile you can start learning about containerization uh, using kubernetes and docker you can start learning about orchest workflow orchestration using airflow and you can also learn about spark hadoop how, how the distributed architecture works because this will help you build an amazing portfolio uh, but this is not compulsory. Uh, you need to first uh, learn all of those basics and then move your way up to these things because these are really complex concepts. And But this will help you become an amazing data in engineer. Most important thing, one of my mentees, he applied all of these concepts and he, uh, he was from a mechanical engineering background and he was able to get a job in data engineering within uh, six to eight months because he, at first he was very passionate. He was motivated. He learned all of these things on his own time. Uh, but the thing is, the, all of these concepts helped him to uh, achieve a job in data engineering. 
so i feel like if he can he could and so you you can also do that so i'll also share his uh, medium article that he has written about his own journey and how uh, all of these things uh, helped him become a data engineer and hopefully this will help a lot of people so the most 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 important thing start writing about it because there are so many there are so many reasons you should write articles about whatever you're learning it it can be anything whatever you're doing start uh, writing articles about it but make it credible okay you don't you don't want to write bullshit on it so uh, one of my mentees he started writing articles about it i'll also share his article on how he became a data engineer and uh, all of these concepts uh, it helped him uh, build his profile and uh, since he was also writing articles he was retaining a lot of information and it was also helping him build an open source contribution profile so this can help you to start writing articles on medium if you are building some batch pipeline some streaming pipeline because it, uh, when it helps other people and they give you a good reviews you can utilize that in your resume and whenever you're applying to a next company so i would highly highly recommend that you should write about it or maybe do some open source contribution while you are learning this because this will help you think out of uh, help you to think out of the box and try to implement other stuff as well so i know i talked about a lot of stuff and this was very overwhelming i know i know but uh, don't overwhelm your, yourself I, i've also mentioned some of the basic stuff so you can start learning those first and then build your way up to other complex things and yeah i know that i've meant uh, i haven't mentioned everything so you can also mention those in the comments below and yeah if it helps anyone just do let me know i'll be more than happy to engage thanks